everyone welcome to today's lecture so i mean tutorial we are going to uh, be solving um, the system of equations using Kramer's rule and apart from that we we'll also use elimination method uh, in order to prove our answers so using Kramer's rule the first thing that you need to understand is that um, uh, using Kramer's rule to find the value of x you, fa you first have to find the determinant uh, when you replace the answers in the x, I'll show you how to do that, which we are going to say the determinant uh, x, and then you divide that by the determinant of the whole matrix, and then to find y, you do the same, determinant y, and then divide by that. So if we have three systems of equation, if we had the third one there, which also included z, in, in, in case it also included z, what you simply just do is, you replace um yeah so you're going to replace you're going to say z is equal to dz over d so this is what we're going to use so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and um you click on the button that says subscribe and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these numbers as we proceed solving the question so you should also don't forget to click on the notification button immediately after subscribing there There is a button there which will enable you to access the The, the data that I'm going to be uh, posting on the channel every uh, I mean yeah every time I post you'll be notified since it's a notification button Okay, so Let's quickly begin to solve. So this is these are the equations that we're going to use So let us first start by finding uh, D and then we we'll move on to DX and DY so how do we do that? So uh, to find D, we're going to find, uh, first of all, let's say, uh, let's write this equation into the matrix format. So this can be written as 3, 2, 3, negative 9, negative 3, and then we have X and Y there, and we have this is equal to 5, 11 there. So after doing that, we get this matrix, say so let... Uh, the matrix, uh, I mean, okay, let me just say we first have to find the determinant of this matrix. So D will now therefore be equal to uh, the determinant of uh, this matrix. So the determinant of that matrix will simply just be equal to 2 times negative 3 will get negative 6. 3 times negative 9 will get, so we say minus negative 27. So D will therefore be equal to negative uh, 6 plus 27, which will th simply just give us, when you add the 2, you get 21. So let us now find the X and the Y. So finding the X, uh, we are going to find the, 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 the determinant of this matrix uh, by replacing this part, the X part. So in short, we are replacing this part with the answers there. So I'm going to put 5 there and 11. Then we put the remaining part there, which is negative 9 and negative 3 there. So finding the determinant of this will therefore just be equal to 3 times negative, uh, uh, 5 times negative 3, this is negative 15. And it's a minus 11 times uh, negative 9, negative 99. So when you add or when you find the solution here, you have negative 15 plus 99. So when you add them, you're just getting 84. So let us also find, um, so okay, just from here you can even find the value of x. So the value of x is simply found by dx over d. So dx is found to be 80. Okay, dx, I found dx to be 84. So dx is equal to 84, that's what I found. Uh, let me write it properly. So I found the x to be equal to 84. I don't know why everything has just erased on themselves. Uh, okay, so uh, the x was 84. So uh, to find the value of x, x is found by writing the x over d. And then remember, d was found to be equal to 21. So we say 84 over 21. So the value of x is equal to when you divide that, you're going to get the answer to be 4. So let us find the value of y. 
we know that y is found by saying dy over d so how do we find dy dy we're going to find it by replacing uh the y uh the, the y part there with the answers so we have the first part the way it is which is two three and then the second part there will be replaced by five and eleven so we find dy there so we find the determinant of that so 2 times 11 we are getting 22 minus 3 times 5 that is 15 so dy will simply just be equal to uh, 22 minus 15 that is just 7 so this is our dy so let us now find uh, the value of y so y is found by uh, dy over d so dy is simply just 7 and then the, the value of d we found it to be 21 so you say 21 so the value of y is equal to 1 over 3 so let us check these answers that were found using elimination method we see if we're going to get the same answers all right so so using elimination method we i'm going to eliminate x so i'm going to just switch this i'm going to put 3 there i'm going to put 2 there when i, when I multiply 3 by everything there I'm going to have um, 3 times 2, that will be 6, then 3 times 9, that will be 27, then 3 times, that will be 15, then 2 times 3, that will be 6, x, uh, 2 times negative 3, that will be uh, 6y, then 22 there. So when we add, when we subtract, uh, 6 minus 6, that will be a 0 negative 27 minus 6 that would be negative 21 y then we have um, 15 minus 22 so 15 minus 22 this one will give me uh, 15 minus 22 this one will give me negative 7 so now I divide by that divide by that this is 1 and then we have negative 21 there so the value of y becomes 1 over 3 which is exactly what we found to find the value of x, we just get any equation between the two and then replace uh, the value of y there. So we have 2x minus 9, put 1 over 3 there, is equal to 5. So we have 2x is equal to, uh, when we divide there, we're going to have, oh, first let me say minus, uh, we're going to have 3 is equal to 5. So 2x will be equal to 5 plus 3. So 2x will now be equal to 8. Yeah, so we have 2x is equal to 8. We divide by 2, divide by 2. The value of x becomes 4. So elimination has proved to us that uh, our Kramer's rule was actually correct. So let's quickly move on to the next uh, question, which is a 3x3 three three matrix. So a 3x3 three three matrix, we also do the same. Remember what I said, to find x, you, fi you have to find dx over d, to find y, you say dy over d, to find z, you say dz over d. So this is what we are going to use. So I'm going to write this expression in a matrix form. So the matrix format of this expression will, th will, will simply just be um, 1, 0, 1, because we don't have the y here, we only have z, so I'll put 0 as this y. Then we have 1, negative 3, 0, we don't have z there. Then we have 4, negative, oh, we don't have x, so we can just write a 0 as this x. So I have 0. Then we have 4, we have negative 3. So this is what we have as our matrix. So let us find D, which is just the determinant of this matrix. So the determinant of this matrix will therefore just be equal to 1 times, uh, when we cancel this part and that part, so the matrix format, sorry, is supposed to be X, Y, Z there. x y z and then this is equal to 0 1 3 all right so 
we when we cancel this part and that part we're going to remain with negative 3 times negative 3 that will be 9 minus 0 to still be 9 we have uh, 0 times whatever that we're going to have this side will still be a 0 so it's not the it's just the same as not writing this part if you want to know how to find the determinant of matrices feel free to invoke me on any of my lines here on the screen i'll send you the link and then you take time to watch how to find the determinant i've explained it step by step All right so here we're going to have uh, zero we're going to have zero and then z this zero times whatever we're going to find it will still be zero so we move on to one so we cancel this in that we're going to have positive one there open brackets four minus zero we're going to have four there so the determinant will simply just be equal to nine plus four which is thirteen so let us find dx so dx is simply just going to be the determinant when we replace the answers in the x uh, value in the x uh, place there. So we put 0, we put 1, we put 3 there. Then we have 0, of 1, of negative 3, 0, of 4, negative 3. So we find the determinant of this. So dx will now therefore be equal to, um, so 0 times whatever we're going to find it will be 0, 0 times whatever we'll find, we'll find it will be 0. So we just have 1 there. So we just say 1 times we cancel this, we cancel that. 1 times 4, that will be 4, uh, 4 minus, then 3 times negative 3, this will be negative 3. So, oh, negative 9, sorry. So dx will therefore be equal to 4 plus 9, that will be 13. So the value of x is equal to dx over d, which will just be 13 over d was 13 as well so the value of x is simply just 1 let us find the value of y so to find the value of y you first have to find dy dy is found by so dy is found uh, by replacing the y component there the y coordinate with the answers so when we replace that with the answers we're going to have 0, 1, 3 there. Then we're going to have 1, 0, negative 3. So dy will therefore just be equal to 1 times this uh, minor here. So this minor here will be negative 3 times 0. So 1 times negative 3, this will be negative 3. Then 0 times whatever we found, we are going to find it to be 0. So we move on to this one. So we cancel this and then we also cancel this. We're going to have 1 times 3, that will be 3. 3 times um, 3 minus 0, that will be 3. Yeah, so 1 times 3, the answer will still be 3. So we add that, which gives us 0. So to find uh, the value of 1, find the value of 1 we are going to say y is equal to dy over d which is just 0 over 13 the answer will still be 0 so the value of y is equal to 0 Okay, let us find z. So the value of z is also going to be symbol straightforward. Remember, the, I mean, z also, will also be found by first finding dz. So z is equal to dz over d. So let us find dz. So dz will be found by finding the determinant of that same matrix, but replacing the z part here with the answers which are just 0 1 3 so finding the determinant of this uh, we only have this part the rest are zeros so when I cancel this and I cancel that I'm going to have negative 3 times 3 this will be negative 9 negative 9 minus 4 times 
1 that will be 4 so this will be 13 negative 13 so z will simply just be equal to dz over d which is just negative 13 over 13 so this will just give me negative 1 so the values of x y and z are simply just x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 then z is equal to negative 1 so these are the answers that are required for us to find you can try to put them in there see if the answer that the answers that you'll be having here will correspond to uh, yeah will correspond to what the answers that you are going to be finding will correspond to what is here all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial my name is Hamted. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on any of these contacts on the screen. See you in the next tutorial. Shalom, shalom. Don't forget to subscribe.